Hello, my dears. Welcome back to English class. How are you? You are fine, aren't you? Okay, let us uh, read the rest of the story. Which story? Do you remember Till? Till Lenspiegel. Where is he now? In the palace of Archduke of Battenberg. And what is he now? Hmm. He is the cock painter. And he is very hungry. And Archduke is going to give him food. Let us read the rest of the story. Okay, listen. Fifth paragraph. Before long, the supper was served and it was like a wedding feast. The tables were loaded with every kind of food and drink. Wine flowed like water. The courtiers stuffed themselves with the choicest dishes. The archduke made till eat and drink until his stomach was about to burst. The archduke too ate heartily. His face was flushed with drink, but he seemed lost in thought. He suddenly looked up and said loudly, Our court painter must paint our portrait so that we will have the satisfaction of leaving our memory to our descendants. We too have to take our place in the history along with our noble ancestors whose portraits are on these walls. It is sad to think of death. We don't know when God will think fit to summon us, but our portrait should be painted. Okay, let us read. Before long, supper was served. Supper, what will be supper? You know, food at the night, at night, food at night. There are, we will say there are uh, three food times. Breakfast, lunch and supper or dinner. Okay, three food times. Breakfast, lunch and supper. And there is another word. Do you know? Brunch. Have you heard the word? Brunch. B-R-U-N-C-H. B-R-U-N-C-H. Brunch. What do you mean by brunch, this word? Brunch. Brunch is, brunch means breakfast plus lunch. It's a portmanteau, portmanteau word. Uh, breakfast plus lunch. It is known as brunch. That is, the food uh, we may have at the time of uh, 11 o'clock, etc. No breakfast, no lunch. But in between, at 11 o'clock, we may have a food and that is known as brunch. Okay. Before long, supper was served. What will be served? Servia. Blamikolika. Supper was served and it was like a wedding feast. Feast. You know feast? What is the Malayalam word for feast? Satya. Okay. It was like a wedding feast. What is the um, uh, pe peculiarity of a wedding feast? There should be so many items, so many dishes. Okay. In uh, uh, You all have attended wedding and have uh, eaten wedding feast. And don't you like the wedding feast? Why? There are so many dishes. And here what happened? 
The tables were loaded with every kind of food and drink. Loaded with, loaded, filled. Loaded means filled. With every kind of food and drink. What is this word? F-O-O-D. Food. How can we pronounce it? Food. It's a neat parayana. Food. Then there is another word. What is this word? Foot. Foot. Adhi churiki parayana. Foot. F-O-O-D. Food. F-O-O-T. Foot. Foot, you know. Uh, our uh, leg, uh, kalpada. Okay, foot. Football. This is, this word is no, uh, how can we pronounce it? Food. Okay. The tables were loaded with every kind of food and drink. This is that, every kind of food and drink. Look at this picture. Look at the table. So many different kinds of food and drink. This is a drink. This is another drink. This is another drink. There are so many kinds of different types of food and drink. And who is this? Ted. And who is this? The Archduke. And this is the Duchess. Wife of Archduke. This is the wife of Archduke. Okay. Wine flowed like water. Wine flowed like water. What will be wine? An alcoholic drink. Wine is an alcoholic drink made using grapes. Don't you know grapes? Okay, you know grapes. The wine is made out of grapes. But it is alcoholic. It is uh, not recommended. It is alcoholic. Wine flowed like water. What do you mean by that? Wine and water. What is the difference between wine and water? Wine is expensive. But what about water? Water is available in plenty. So it is cheap. What do you mean by cheap? What is the opposite of cheap? Expensive. So, wine flowed like water. What does it mean? Wine flowed like water. There is a lot of wine. So much quantity of wine. That is the meaning. Wine flowed like water. There is so much quantity of wine on that tables. That's all. The courtiers stuffed themselves with the choicest dishes. The courtiers. What do you mean by courtiers? The people in the court of the Archduke. Okay. The court. What do you mean by court? C-O-U-R-T. Court. Haven't you heard about the high court, supreme court, etc.? What, that, what does that mean? What is, what is the meaning of that court? Oh, you know. Court, the high court, supreme court, you know. But what is the court here means? Court. The court of the king. Court of the archduke. Raja Sadasa. So what do you mean by courtiers? The people in the court, in the palace. Okay. Uh, like who? Like the um, captains, generals, uh, lords, nobles, etc. Okay. Raja Sadhasilala court painter, uh, then what can we say? Raja Pandi, then Raja Vaidyan, doctor, doctor of the king, like that. Okay. The courtiers stuffed themselves with the choicest dishes. There are so many dishes. So they can choose, they can select. They selected the most delicious, tasty food. Stuffed. What do you mean stuffed? Filled. Filled themselves. 
കുത്തി നിറയ്ക്കുക എന്നാണ് ശരിക്കും സ്റ്റാഫ് തന്നെ വാക്കിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥം കുത്തി നിറയ്ക്കാവുന്നതിലേക്ക് ഒരുപാട് സാധനങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നുകൊണ്ട് വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ദു ദ സ്റ്റഫ് ദംസെൽസ് കുത്തി കുത്തി നിറച്ചു ദ ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് മെയ് ടിൽ ഈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രിങ്ക് ആൻഡ് ടിൽ ഹിസ് സ്റ്റൊമക് വാസ് എബൌട്ട് ടു ബേസ്റ്റ് ദ ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് മെയ് ടിൽ ഈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രിങ്ക് ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് ടോൾഡ് ടിൽ ഡ്രിങ്ക് ആൻഡ് ഈറ്റ് ദെൻ ദെൻ ഈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദെൻ ആൻഡിൽ ഒരു ആൻഡിൽ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഡു യു നോ ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ആൻഡിൽ അതുവരെ ഇതുവരെ ഹിസ് സ്റ്റൊമക് വാസ് എബൌട്ട് ടു ബേസ്റ്റ് ബേസ്റ്റ് എക്സ്പ്ലോഡ് ബേസ്റ്റ് മീൻസ് എക്സ്പ്ലോഡ് പൊട്ടുക വയറ് പൊട്ടും വരെ കഴിക്കുക എന്ന് പറയാറില്ലേ ആ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വയറ് മൂക്കുമുട്ട ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ മലയാളം യൂസേജ് മൂക്കുമുട്ട തിന്നുക ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹിയർ ദ ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് മെയ്ഡ് ടിൽ ഈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്രിങ്ക് ആൻഡ് ടിൽ ഹിസ് സ്റ്റൊമക് വാസ് എബൌട്ട് ടു ബേസ്റ്റ് ദ ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് ടു എയ്റ്റ് ഹേർട്ട് ഹാർട്ട്ലി ടു ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ മെനി ടു ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്കും എയ്റ്റ് ഹാർട്ട്ലി ഹാർട്ട്ലി ഇൻ എ ഗുഡ് മാനർ ഇൻ എ വെരി ഗുഡ് മാനർ so attitude also it so many things that's so his face was flushed with drink flushed flushed means became red became red in color with drink drink here means drinking wine drinking wine so attitude uh, drank so much wine so his face became red that is but he seemed lost in thought seemed or in we seemed tony seemed he seemed lost in thought lost in thought what is the meaning chinda magnanaya chindayil mulugiya lost in thought So write down the meaning in your notebook. Lost in thought. What is the meaning? Chindayil mulugiya. Lost in thought. So who is lost in thought now? The Archduke. He suddenly looked up and said loudly. He suddenly looked up. What do you mean looked up? This is. Looked up. Thalai uyarthi nokla. Looked up. and said loudly loudly do you know the meaning loudly yes you know uraki our court painter must paint our portrait portrait there is a beautiful malayalam word for portrait chaya padam chaya padam alla to kudikina chaya alla chaya cha chaya padam adana that is the meaning of portrait the uh, picture of a person that that is the meaning of portrait our court painter must paint our portrait our what is the meaning of our nammude ennanale rajakumarakke avare kurichu parayumbol ende ennu parayarilla nammude enne parayarullo isn't it മലയാളത്തിൽ ആ നമ്മുടെയാണ് ഇവിടെ എന്തായത് അവർ അവർ കോട്ട് പെയിൻ്റർ മസ്റ്റ് പെയിൻ്റ് അവർ പോർട്രൈറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് വി വിൽ ഹാവ് ദ സാറ്റിസ്ഫാക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ലിവിങ് അവർ മെമ്മറി ടു അവർ ഡെത്ത് ഡിസൻഡൻസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് വി വിൽ ഹാവ് ദ സാറ്റിസ്ഫാക്ഷൻ സാറ്റിസ്ഫാക്ഷൻ വട്ട് യു മീൻ ബൈ സാറ്റിസ്ഫാക്ഷൻ തൃപ്തി സംതൃപ്തി ഓഫ് ലിവിങ് അവർ മെമ്മറി to our descendants descendants what is this word descendants once more please descendants once more okay descendants what do you mean by descendants pingamigal namukku shesham verunavar nammude pingamigal mungamigalum undu pingamigalum undu mungamigal what is the english word for that 
ancestors what is the word ancestors once more ancestors so here the archduke is asking till to paint his portrait for what to leave her his memory to the descendants pingamigalku orma nilanathan okay we too have to take our place in history along with our noble ancestors whose where is it ah okay we too have to take our place in history history you know history okay we too have to take our place in history we also should have a place a position in the history along with our noble ancestors ancestors what is the meaning of ancestors mungamigal okay noble what do you mean by noble noble means very good here here the meaning of noble is very good noble ancestors very good ancestors okay and there is another word another meaning for noble have you heard of noble gases in chemistry noble gases gases like a helium etc neon etc have you heard why why it is called it is lazy um uh, lazy elements that is so the word noble gas means alasa vadagangal lazy okay that is, that is that is one meaning of that word noble but here that means uh, what is the meaning of noble very good noble ancestors who portrays i don't these walls who portrays i don't these walls i don't alangirikiva these walls so the walls of the uh, palace there are paintings of his ancestors his grandfather great grandfather his father etc those are the ancestors so there are the paintings portraits on the walls it is sad to think of death it is sad to think of death isn't it sad to be, to to die isn't it sad yes it is sad but we do not know when god will think fit to summon us we do not know or in way we do not know you know we do not know we don't know when god will think fit to summon us god will think fit to summon summon or in way summon call summon means call summons how do you hear summons summon means call god will think fit to summon us what do you mean by god will think fit to summon us that means at the time of our death god will think fit to summon us what is the meaning the time of our death we don't know when will we die we don't know when will we die that is the meaning but our portrait should be painted you should paint my portrait our here means my can you understand it our what what is the meaning of our here my that's all my portrait so what is the wish of archduke to paint his portrait who is painting he is who is going to paint his portrait till okay i will read the paragraph once more before long supper was served and it was like a wedding feast the tables were loaded with every kind of food and drink wine flowed like water the courtiers stuffed themselves with the choicest dishes the archduke made till eat and drink until his stomach was about to burst 
The Archduke too ate her heartily. His face was flushed with drink, but he seemed lost in thought. He suddenly looked up and said loudly, Our court painter must paint our portrait so that we will have the satisfaction of leaving our memory to our descendants. We too have to take our players in history along with our noble ancestors whose portraits adorn these walls. It is sad to think of death. We do not know when God will think fit to summon us, but our portrait should be painted. Okay, next paragraph. Till quickly replied, Your Lordship's slightest wish is to me command. All the same, I do feel rather unhappy about painting your Lordship all by yourself. Is it not terrible to think of your lordship being lonely forever and ever, forever and ever? Don't you think, ladies and gentlemen, that His Highness should be accompanied at least by Her Highness, Her Ladies, the noble generals and captains who adorn this court? A court like this has few rivals in splendor, loveliness and chivalry. In the midst of such valor and beauty, I will make my lord and lady shine forth like the moon surrounded by lanterns. Okay. Till quickly replied, quickly. Suddenly, okay. Your lordship's slightest wish is to me command. Slightest, simplest, seest. Wish is to me command, command, order. Your wish is command for me, order for me. So it is your wish to paint the picture, but. I feel that it's an order for me. Till you paint my picture. That is the order. So Till is uh, saying, Your Lordship's slightest wish is to me command. Can you remember? Do you remember Till's uh, speaking in the first part? Very, very sophisticated language. Very good. Very sophisticated in a good manner. So keep picking the sambashnam in the number of Arimaya. That is. Your Lordship's slightest wish is to me command. All the same, I do feel rather unhappy about painting your Lordship all by yourself. What is the meaning of this sentence? I am not happy to paint the Archduke alone all by yourself what is the meaning of all by yourself all by oneself alone write down in your notebook all by yourself what is the meaning alone so till is not ready to paint the archduke the portrait of the archduke alone what what she what he wants listen is it not terrible to think of your lordship being lonely forever and ever? Is it not terrible? Terrible? Pigaram. Terrible. What is the word? Terrible. Pigaram. Is it not terrible to think of your lordship being lonely forever and ever? Forever and ever. What do you mean by forever and ever? Forever, in and take him, in and alone, lonely, in the picture. So the archduke should will be alone in the picture, 
Isn't it terrible? Bhigaravalle, Egandada, loneliness. What do you mean by loneliness? Egandada. So, till he is saying that he is not ready to paint the Archduke alone. Then, don't you think, ladies and gentlemen, he is addressing the other people, other people in the court. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you think that His Highness should be accompanied at least by Her Highness? Accompanied. What do you mean accompanied? Company would occur. I'm not very late. Recruit. Accompanied. Urimichipoga. Put on Dalikia. Whose company? By Her Highness. What do you mean by Her Highness? Ah, this is Her Highness. Her Highness. Her Ladies. Ladies. Here, the meaning of Her Lady is Tolima. Sakhima. Kutaga. Ragni Marka. Korai Tolima. That is Her Ladies. The Noble Generals and Captains. Generals. Generals means? Uh, the um, army, general of the army, generals of the army, and the captains, captains of the army, that is, the noble generals and captains who adorn this court, adorn, what do you mean adorn? Alangirikuga, adorn. This court, court, do you remember the meaning of court? Two meaning, do you remember? Court, high court, supreme court, etc. But here, what it means? Rajasadasa. A court like this has few rivals in splendor, loveliness, and chivalry. Hi. Listen, look at the, look at the speech of uh, Till. A court like this has few rivals. Rivals, Edriyalegal. Opponents. Rivals means opponents. Edriyalegal. In splendor. Magnificence, magnificent palace is this. This court is very magnificent one, splendor, greatness, and loveliness. Loveliness, P-O-T, loveliness, and chivalry. What is this word? Chivalry, dhirada, courage, chivalry. Write down the meaning, chivalry, dhirada, courage. So, this court has few rivals. What do you mean by few rivals? No rivals. Idrialigleya. Atramano haramana splendor. Loveliness, beauty, beauty, and chivalry. Thira devula virvana. In the midst of such valor and beauty, valor. What do you mean by valor? Chivalry. Valor means courage. That's all. Valor, courage. And beauty, I will make my lord and lady shine forth like the moon surrounded by lanterns. I will make my lord and lady shine forth, shine, tilanuga, glow, shine, like moon surrounded by lanterns. Moon, you know, surrounded by lanterns. Have you seen, have you ever seen lanterns? I will show you. This is the lantern. Randal. Shararandal. Randal Rai. That is. Um, whose uh, glowing is more? The moon's glow or the uh, glow of this lantern? Which is more? More powerful? More beautiful? Sure. It is of the moon. Okay. So this is the uh, lantern. I will make my lord and lady shine forth like the moon, surrounded by lanterns. Surrounded? Chittu, surrounded by lanterns. So, uh, the Archduke and the Duchess are like moon. And all others are like lanterns. That is the comparison here. Did you get the comparison? The uh, Archduke and the Duchess 
are like moon. And what about the other people in the court? They are like lanterns. They have less light than moon. Okay. Okay, I will read the paragraph once more. Till quickly replied. Your lordship's slightest wish is to me command. All the same, I do feel rather unhappy about painting your lordship all by yourself. Is it not terrible to think of your lordship being lonely forever and ever? Don't you think, ladies and gentlemen, that His Highness should be accompanied by accompanied at least by Her Highness, Her Ladies, the noble generals and captains who adorn this court? A court like this has few rivals in splendor, loveliness and chivalry. In the midst of such valor and beauty, I will make my lord and lady shine forth like the moon surrounded by lanterns. Okay. The Archduke thought that it was a good idea. So, Archduke liked the idea. Which idea? The idea of painting his portrait with all other persons in the court with all other courtiers his wife other courtiers generals nobles etc okay so archduke like that idea well my friend your painting will be a great piece of art what reward you expect for it well my friend to whom the Archduke is calling my friend? Till. Till in here. My lady will in My friend and I will in there. Till. Well, my friend, your painting will be a great piece of art. Piece of art. Art kala. Very kala was to a yikim. Very a great piece of art. Have you heard this sentence? A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Have you heard this sentence? A thing of beauty is a joy forever. What is the meaning? A beautiful thing give us Happiness forever in the nakim. A beautiful thing give us happiness, joy. What do you mean by joy? Happiness forever in the nakim. If you look at the uh, nature, we can we, we will be happy. Why? Nature is beautiful. So, and everything is beautiful, no doubt. So, don't forget it. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. So, a piece of art. A piece of art is a thing of beauty. So, it will, it is, it will be, uh, it will give us happy forever. That is uh, the Archduke saying. Your painting will be a great piece of art. What reward do you expect for it? What reward? Reward. Pradipalam. Payment. What reward do you expect for it? Do you want? What reward do you want? How much money do you want? A hundred piece of gold. So, what, how much money? Till one. A hundred piece of gold. You can pay me now or later just as you please. What do you mean by this word? Please. Please give me a pen. What is the meaning? Devai. Give me a pen, please. Then, what is the meaning of please here? Ask you please. Devai nano? No. Ask you please. Please means ask you. 
uh, how you like, as you like, that is. Just as you like, that is the meaning. Here are the hundred pieces of gold in advance, said the Archduke, giving him the gold. So Archduke gave him a bundle of gold, pieces of gold, a hundred piece of, pieces of gold in advance. Advance, Mungur. Don't you know? Yes, advance, Mungur, said the Archduke, giving him the gold. My lord, you are the most generous of masters. You have filled my lamp with oil. It will forever burn in your honor. <laughs> that is the reply of Till. My lord, you are the most generous of masters. Generous. What do you mean by generous? In Malayalam, the meaning is Udaramadi. That word is most beautiful one. Generous. Malayala meaning Udaramadi. Yendam Ishtambula Kudukana Al. Yenanatha. Generous. What is the meaning of generous? Udaramadi. Giving a lot to others without any limitation. That is the meaning. Generous. Of masters. You are the very kind master. You are you are giving us everything. That is. You have filled my lamp with oil. Lamp. Uh, if the lamp. If only we give the oil. The lamp will be light. Isn't it? Only If only we give oil. We can light the lamp. So here the lamp is. Till it himself. And what is the oil here? What is the oil in the Parnagin in the Nikol China? The hundred pieces of gold. So money. Money is the oil. So the Archduke give till money. That is the oil. And till is the lamp. So it will forever burn in your honor. It will, it, it means the lamp. What is the lamp here? Till. The person till. Till is the lamp. Till is soyam in that parayinu da nyanir vilakana. Aan vilakileke ang indu da no oye. Money. It will forever burn. Burn. Kattuga. Kattinilkuga. In your owner. Owner. Bahumadi kivendi. What is this word? Owner. Arkangil hai hechi vahi kena mendu tohna nandu? Hechi vahi kena. Hechi laade baki akshirengale vahi chamadi. Owner. What is the word? Owner. Bahumadi. Hechi silent. So remember. What is this word? Owner. Once more. Owner. Once more please. Yes. Owner. Bahumadi. So what, what, what? This sentence mean. I will work for you. The sentence just mean, I will work for you. Oh my lord, I will work for you. Why? You gave me money. So I will work for you. So Till is going to paint the portrait of Archduke and the courtiers. Okay. Let us read the rest of the story in the next class. So, I read the paragraphs one or two or three times. Now, come back to our English group. I will give you some questions. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me there. Okay? So, see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.